Blessings, beloved. One of the beautiful 5D New Earth multidimensional concepts that we can bring into our work is light encoding everything. All of your service work, it doesn't matter if it's a physical product, virtual product, gathering, doesn't matter. We can light encode anything with our pure and true light signature. Now, all of us have a light signature. It is the first step out of source, is this vast geometry, and that's the fractal, the first fractal. And all of us have this geometry that we're expressing through in all of these different realms. So if you've ever been meditating and you see all of that geometry starting to appear around you, it'll, it'll open up your vision into a big 360 and all of a sudden you can you see all this like golden and crystalline, depending on your vibration, uh, geometry around you. I'm not talking about stargates or anything like that, but it's the highest expression that you are is actually geometry. It's actually a vibration, a harmonic that's expressed as geometry. And we use that in order to light code our work. To align with your light signature, it's already on, you're already doing it, but when we align with our pure intent to let our light signature flow infinite creator codes, pure source, source codes, diamond rays of consciousness, higher levels of consciousness through our work, it can be very powerful for those who we are assisting. Now, your light signature, the way that you're expressing in form, all of us have a little bit of distortion as we come down through the realms, and that's what we're purifying and divinitizing as we go through the ascension process. However, your mood, your vibration, your current situation is going to affect your light signature and therefore affect your light codes. So, puritization, divinitization, keeping yourself as high vibe as possible is key. The second thing I want to mention is that we always stay in alignment with cosmic law. And as a representative of cosmic law in form, let me share this with you. Never attempt to control or manipulate or design, sway the journey of another incarnate ever, or anything else for that matter. But it is not, that is none of our business as representations of the Christ itself, which allows Source to express right through us because we are that, we are already that. We're allowing Source to have its way with its creation right through us. However, when we hold our pure intention of service, we can flow that divine light and divine love and divine will and divine support for other people's journey through our work. Now, we can call in the cosmic rays, the different rays of light, the masters, your divine entourage, your higher levels, your Christed levels, your almighty I am levels, or infinite creator itself to flow through us and into our work, but let me show you how it works. So your light signature, your light codes, are broadcast already through your energy fields. That's pretty low maintenance. The high maintenance stuff comes flowing through your eyeballs and through your right hand and through your heart center. So when we get into a heart and the hands and the, and the eyeballs blaring at people with your light signature, the more that you level up, the stronger those codes are going to be. And the more that you embody that divine DNA, the stronger your codes will be. In order to share them through, let's say, a virtual product instead of in person, you can raise your right hand, which broadcasts your light signature. You may have seen this, and I've been explaining it on my website too, that your right hand contains your light signature. And that was also taught to the native people by the, by the Pleiadians, so if you see you know, the natives holding up their hand, that's what they're doing. They're saying, I will show you all that I am. This is my light signature. This is everything. Broadcasting to you, it's kind of like revealing to somebody else, peace, this is all that I am. Let me see what you are. And they have that exchange. And this happens with cosmic beings as well. They'll hold up their right hand in order to exchange light signatures. It's a telepathic way, a light code way of exchanging information. We use that when we light encode 
all of our busyness and all of our services that we have going on. So here's how you do it. So center yourself in your pure intention to be a conduit of the highest level of service of source. Always purify and divinitize first. Open up your ascension column across all levels, layers, and dimensions, parallel realities, seen and unseen, all the way from source, all the way through these realms, into these realities, penetrating these realities, opening and spinning your fields with a pure divine light, positive photonic light, diamond, crystalline, golden, Christ light, whatever it is that your personal belief systems are for opening your fields. Get into the heart, centered, and then open up your hand, and whatever it is that you have before you that you want to bless and light encode, whether it's a video, something you created on your computer, let's say, you pull it up on the computer, hold your hand up, get centered, and you can bring in sound with an invocation, command, decree, I call forth the pure light codes to flow through me, to fully assist, amplify, accelerate everyone's journey that comes into contact with my work. And you leave it there. You don't try to do things to people, make it activate them. You're just providing, like every healer, providing a space for people to move into and allow the healing to occur, allow the amplification, the activation to occur. And by opening that field, opening that permission, you're allowing the light codes to flow through your work and touch people on the other side. And it also creates a container for those of you who throw geometry, if you want to throw sacred geometry or your light signature around a creation, if you're advanced, you could do that. And it creates a container for not only an experience, but a, a little broadcast station for the Christ, for the infinite creator, whatever it is your intention is to bring through that. If you're writing about diamond ray consciousness, then everything you do is going to be light encoded for activating the diamond ray consciousness and allowing it to flow through people, through flow through their life stream, and they pick up how whatever degree or whatever quantity of that that they like. That's up to them on the other end of this equation. So you call forth that pure light to flow through all of my work to provide the highest levels of service, amplification for me. I'm an ascension guide, so I'm calling forth whatever is needed to fully align this brother or sister with the pure light codes needed to fully assist the pure and true organic ascension. And they do, on the other end of that, whatever they want. Either they're going to pick up the codes or they won't. But they're there. That's the thing, is to have the intention that the codes are there, if you so choose, to interact with them. And sometimes, like when I'm writing articles, or I'm, you know, I'm a channel, so when I sit down at the computer, I want to open up my fields and allow that flow, that experience that I feel when I'm connecting with my team and my higher levels providing that cosmic intel and allow those codes to flow into that work through light encoding it when it's all complete. So yes, the light codes are flowing through everything that I'm doing, but I'm also adding that extra level, that extra boost, that extra intention of assisting people's journeys, which is the point, is to fully support everyone that you're working with. Now, if you're working with physical objects, you can also light encode them, don't attach to them, bless them, activate them, and then send them on their way to do the highest interests of all concerned. You know, we're not attaching to people's journeys and saying, did it work, did it not work? You just provide, 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 let it go. The other thing you can use is sound. So however, you know, this is a good way to broadcast your light signature and you can bless anything that way. Your space, the seats where people are going to sit for your event, the space for the event itself, the invitations, your emails. So surprised that people don't do this with all of their communications. Because also realize that as we level up as a collective, as we become unified and flow into unity consciousness, 
The High Vibe Tribe can see what's going on. So when you open up someone's email, you're opening up part of their their frequency and all of it is frequency. So when you get hit by people's frequency sometimes or you read people's things online, you're like, wow, that person used to really resonate with me and now it doesn't. It's just because you're either you're done with them as supporting your journey or maybe their light coat, maybe their vibration is off that week, you know, no judgment, but it's uh, by light encoding your work, you're maintaining that higher self vibration rather than the lower self just kind of throwing it out there willy-nilly and uh, without intention. So always make sure that you're light encoding everything to maintain higher self, take care of it. Again, hand it over to your higher levels. Higher levels, take care of it, whatever's needed, because a lot of times you're working with giant oversoul groups. You are probably dealing with the same 500,000 people all the time during this incarnation and when they connect with your work and you allow that light code activation to happen and that person's coming in and going oh yes I, I agree to receive those light codes and always tell people I have a line at the top of my newsletter this newsletter is light encoded to assist your journey and some people will open up they have they that agreement they open up my newsletter and they're like Oh, that's just what I needed. They didn't even read it. They're just receiving the codes from the images and from the words because the whole thing is light encoded. So at an oversoul level, oversouls are connecting and providing whatever is needed in the moment rather than us doing this grounded thing of like, I am going to activate you and you must obey <laughs> what I'm telling you to do. It's leaving, it's obeying cosmic law, finally. Obeying cosmic law and allowing the agreements to unfold. Now, if someone agrees to receive a certain light code from you, if you're somebody who does light language, light code activations, that kind of thing, of course, if they're purchasing or agreeing to scheduling a light code activation with you, then the agreement is on and you're going to interact at the higher level. However, when you're just throwing your work out there, you have a YouTube video and five years from now somebody watches it and they're like, whoa, it was so activating. It's because the codes are already there for whatever they need in that moment. They just suddenly made the agreement to watch the thing and oh, there was something there and you know, it's whatever is needed for their journey in that moment is a beautiful intention to have with your light codes. You can also use your voice, Pleiadians kind of nailing, <laughs> kind of reminding us of this right now, that sound creates the field for higher interaction. So when you're, you can use hue, hue man, god man, hue means god, that's why we capitalize H-U all the time. Hue, hue is a beautiful DNA activator. It's also a way to deliver light codes, saturate your work with it, whatever you're creating with you. It also activates your own DNA and allows for that agreement for the crystalline encoded, the rainbow bridge DNA to activate your brothers and sisters when you're doing that. Um, you can also use singing bowls. You know, I will play these. And this is a cosmic ray bowl. But you can play them and allow them, flow the light codes, flow the light codes. Uh, through that. Ooh, I'm going to play the gold one just because. Yeah. Beautiful. But when you create that field, even when you're creating, use sound. I always play sofagio frequencies and incantations, not without, not with words, but, um, but maybe some, some background music that has uh, sacred sounds in it uh, to assist in creating that vibration while I'm creating content and you can use that as well. Um, the next thing is you can upgrade your light code. So after you've light encoded all of your service work, and you don't have to do it one by one from here on, you will do it one by one, but you can also say, I call forth light codes to flow through all of my service work with the highest pure intention to fully assist anyone who comes in contact with my content. So be it. Higher levels, take care of it. Source, Bless everyone. Take care of it. And when you, when, when the ego and the emotions and the mind stay out of the way, the light codes really flow. And you can also 
trace your light codes, use light language. There's a million ways to do it. The thing is to have the pure intention to raise the collective in whatever way is best for them in that moment when they come in contact with your service, with your work. So take a moment and play with this. This is a beautiful, higher level way of bringing what we do upstairs into the lower levels so that we light up this planet, light up all of our work and truly become that embodiment of those frequencies as well as leveling up our way shower work so that we are fully empowered as way showers and showing humanity what is possible with ascension. Blessings, beloved, and thank you for watching this video. There are three ways that we can stay connected. The first is you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. The second is you can go to my website at sondrawalter.com and sign up for the free weekly newsletter. That's where all those cosmic light intel and energy updates and the free tools and the classes and the events and the Sunday Unity meditation reminders are all sent to you directly, or you can go to my website and enjoy all the free tools and the articles that are there already. Decades worth of material on the Ascension already provided free to you. Also, there are Sunday Unity Meditations that we've been doing for about two and a half years now. Please join us. And if you want to follow us on social media, you can check out the notes section for all the links to where you can find me for daily inspiration on the Ascension process. Let us unify and show humanity what is possible with ascension. Thank you. I love you. I bless you.